Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of Dark Matter, on to episode 5 of season 3. That last episode with Marcus being stuck in a time loop was... Unexpected. Well written. Well... Uh... Acted. And... Was extremely funny. Obviously, the, the actor himself must know how to speak French. He must do with how he was able to just reel that off quite so quickly. But Marcus now knows French. <laughs> and it was great how they came up with the scenario as to how it happened and how they got out of it. Anyway, let's just carry on. See what craziness comes out of the next one. This is episode five. Ambrosia, oh, thank God you're okay. What's going on? Where's table? I don't know. I thought maybe it was with you. Why do you look like you're handcuffed to that chair? Yes. What do you mean? <gasps> you are handcuffed well, uh, to that chair. Who the hell? Warren, what the hell are you doing there? Same thing Who's I this jackass? Whatever I want. If you Stop squinting. Her, I swear. Relax. You'll continue to be fine. As long as you cooperate. If not... Wow, you are a real stereotypical fuck. I want to see her alive again or not. Yes, yes, I'll do this whatever This seems you a say. bit Look, too... whoever you are, I don't know what this is about, but if you hurt that woman... You mind your own business if you know what's good for you. This looks strange. <laughs> so, what's this all about? Tabor's girlfriend's been kidnapped. From that guy. Tabor has a girlfriend? That's what I said. You ride in there on your white horse, you save the day. Tabor's out of the picture, you get the girl. Seriously? Doesn't wear a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not like that, I just wanted to be safe. Crap. Okay, technically, I'd owe you. <laughs> Get oh, out of town. On. It'll be easy. I, I just need backup to make sure he honors a deal. A data file, which is a little weird because Tabor said it wasn't important. What's on the file? Mike Intelligence has been investigating unconfirmed reports that Ferris is building an entire new fleet. Almost 100 ships, cruisers, destroyers. That. That's a lot of firepower. Enough to ensure total victory. If it's uh -huh. true, every one of Ferris's enemies would pay big for those coordinates. Even yeah. if it wasn't true, they'd probably pay just to be sure. Mm. Here's the deal. Give us the file. We'll deal with the kidnapping and your friend will be safe, I promise. According to GNN, Novena Corp occupied Regulus 12 for a number of days, but were forced to abandon the station when their ships were required elsewhere. See, abandoned. Now this should be Don't a walk in the park. General Caius is dead. It does His not. fleet is scattered. The Temekin system will fall to our enemies within the week. Shuttle us in and I'll gain access using my station ID. Tabor used to send me all the time. The head of security was practically on his payroll. I can get into the storage unit, but I'm going to need someone to hack in so I can access the safety deposit box. I should be coming with you. You just be waiting in the docking bay. There's no point. As a precaution. I would take it. I'm tired of standing by and letting everyone take care of me. I want to do this, okay? <laughs> no warships in the area. Marauder, you're good to go. Ooh, funky station. Talifus. Nemec, old buddy, it's been a while. Hey, Adrian. I don't have the ships. <laughs> then find them. And weaken my position elsewhere. That is exactly what our enemies are hoping for. Tamekin is the birthplace of Ishida. It requires too many resources to defend, and it has no strategic value. There's more to winning wars than strategy. Give them something to believe in. He's doing too much of this on He's his own. Them. He's no ad and proper advisors than this guy. To the ends of the galaxy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you. Tabor is gone and he cleared out all his accounts before he left. Mm. Then you got a problem. I have friends in the intelligence division and I know they know Tabor was working with the crew of the Raza. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Adrian. Central wants these people bad. As soon as your ID popped up, I had to call it in. They filed an arrest report for Adrian Mara. Screwed up. What about five? There's no mention of her in the report. Okay. I'm listening. I just need to hack into the station's data node and unpack those heels I picked up from Safira 10. <laughs> Client number 3664297. Welcome back, Miss Devereaux. Thank you. Um. Alice. Alice. So not looking to get tied down. Oh, why are you offering? I've been working on my knots. Unfortunately, I can't. Why not? Well, it's just... 
I don't date guys whose asses I've kicked. See ya. <laughs> okay, okay, let's focus on the plan. I know. Never mind, I got it. Oh, this this is brilliant. One of us pretends to be, to be sick. sick. Yeah. No, that's a that's terrible the plan. Worst. Okay, so uh, I'll hack that door console without my tools, and yeah. then what? Miraculously escape. Then, then we make a break for the Marauder. Past all the armed guards. Had time to think about it. Think about what? Here's the offer. You give up the Raza, you walk out of here a free man. The cruise is going to be here any minute now, Adrian. It's your last chance. Are you bluffing with that or not? I wouldn't be so sure about that. Sir, we've got another alert. Level five. Level five? Yeah. Do Sergeant, not get what the, the hell is going this on? Way? Sergeant! Fucking dumbass. Not what you're expecting, Hi. though, right? I'm there, Liam. Got it. Okay. Now then. Oh, give me a break. Don't tell me. It's empty. It's gone. It's not our job to run around the galaxy risking our asses to rescue people. I'm sorry I screwed up, but please don't let it cost Ambrosia her life. Back me up here, boss lady. The only other person in the galaxy who could have accessed that box was Tabor. He's the one who cleaned it up. Why keep this one thing secret? Unless he was looking for a place to hide where no one would find him. Don't let the fact that I've allowed you back in my presence get to your head. Or you might find it quickly removed from your shoulders. <laughs> but I do regret that in my absence, he started taking military advice from a school teacher. Oh! No one wants to see Temekin fall. But we don't have a choice. Lenari death masks. And plenty of plain old cash. It's quite the horde. Take it kind of makes you wonder why he doesn't have a better security system. Force field. Force field. Okay. This is as far as we go. It, what part of force field didn't you understand? Ago. We're trapped. This guy's good Who at leading you? you into him. I possess no personal designation. Oh. I'm a security android assigned to protect this facility. As you go. For your owner. He won't be programmed to respond to you. Do you have the password? No. Then it is not Don't okay for you to be here. <laughs> what are you gonna do with us? You will not be harmed. Ever. When was the last time he was in touch? Three months, twelve days, and six hours ago. So now then. Please, make yourselves comfortable. No. You may be here a while. If that security android is a defense model, he'll be even tougher than I am, and I had no trouble kicking your ass. You remember that, right? Ah, uh, I remember. Got a better idea? Yeah. Please. I I've attempted to contact him on all the transmission channels he provided. There was no response. I didn't have much of a choice. I'm here to rescue my friends. That's unfortunate. Again. I have my orders. Want to protect all this stuff? It is very important to my employer. He stressed that repeatedly. Tabor may not even ever come back. You could spend the rest of your existence just here, waiting. That is also irrelevant. What's in your hand? You can hear my heart beating, right? Of course. What about now? <laughs> How did you do that? Magic. Simulation. I'm gonna give it it's a shot. It's an upgrade that can make you so much more. Oh, you interesting. You have something we need. I'm offering you a trade. Too slow. It. <laughs> Let's go. He couldn't wait till he at least made up his mind? Just leave the upgrade. He can decide when he wakes up. The good news is, it looks like we got the right file because it has Ferris military grade encryption. That's the bad news. It Cut. has Ferris Cut. military Break grade it. encryption. Yeah. Great. We might be able to break the code, but it'll take time. We don't. You don't hide the file and the encryption program or software or whatever it is or cipher key or whatever together. That that's standard. Otherwise, you might as well not bother encrypting it. May I present the graduating class at the Royal Military Academy. Future officers of the Imperial Fleet. Yeah, I'm nervous in that as well. What's going on here? He's nervous. Yeah. She doesn't miss a track. You need her. You'd have been dead. The needle was poisoned. Yeah. As we suspected. One scratch and you would have died within hours. 
Who was this man? Apparently, he was a classmate and a friend of your brother's. You don't see it because you don't venture beyond these walls. I do. Congratulations. You OK? Do I look OK? You're upset, I understand, but this will all be over soon enough. OK, that's done. You can come over to me now. Wait for it. It's fine, Amber. You can just step right over here. She's in on it. <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? I do. <laughs> Fairly obvious. What the hell? I knew that was coming. You really are an idiot. Yeah, you, know you that? are. Uh, that's not possible. Oh, come on, Adrian. Don't be so naive. A better offer came along. Then you're a dead man. What the hell is this? It's encoded. It's not a problem. I have a decryption program. What? Do you now? Where? Thank In you. In a safe place. Yeah. Whoa, Feminine whoa, charms will always hey. make every guy not see what's really happening. Amber, yeah, wait. She's taking it for herself. What are you doing? I am going into business for myself. So this time next hey, she year, played you, all of you. I will be retired on my own private moon. <laughs> That's what you really want? Because our other big boy. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're going to want to stay down. Wait! Wait! Don't hurt her, please. So confused. Box. Off your pop. I was with that man. I know that we never spent a lot of time together, but I always thought that there could be something between us. She's a user. By handing over the decryption program? Yeah, that's the start. Huh? Yeah. Don't tell me you were lying because you weren't. The day Tabor gave you that locket, I thought, since when did Tabor get so sentimental? Stop. This was his Aunt Miriam's. Did he have a grandmother? <sighs> Just give it up, Princess. Here. And? We have the coordinates. Phoenix? It's an uninhabited system in the Torzen sector. Set a course and drop us out just within range. And be prepared to get us out of there fast if we have to. It is indeed a facility for the assembly of interstellar ships. Uh. There are berths for between 60 and 80, depending on size. Except that they're gone. Very long. According to Mikkei Intelligence, those ships weren't ready to go online for another month, at least. Well, that and where did info they go? out of date. Your intel's off. Few ships managed to escape, but nine cruisers and three troop carriers were destroyed. Round up his family and his closest friends. Guilty or not, an example must be made. He's, he, his war tactics. In general, send a cruiser to the miners in the Nakana asteroid field. Find the ring leaders, choose one, and have him publicly executed. You have some advice to offer on how I should run my empire. Ah. Uh, Action, adventure, thrilling escapes. Time loops. You? Uh, meetings, vaults, thrilling infrastructure renewal plans. Boring. Wow. Go where I'm needed, I guess. Well, you're needed here, on this ship. He ain't coming back. I miss you too. He's like a father figure really to the next summit, I'll be free for a while. Great time to come visit. I'd like that. Official report, board of directors, eyes only, begin recording. War is going according to plan. However, there has been a new unforeseen development. The independent colonies have organized much faster than we anticipated. Uh... Now peers are getting outside help. We can no longer afford to wait until the war is over to deal with it. Victory now assured. We need to do so in a way that limits damage to the infrastructures. With victory now assured, you shouldn't need to do that. It's time to use Agent Zero. What? Uh, uh okay. Agent Zero. There's more to that. We'll wait till the next episode because that's all we've got on it for now. Let's just concentrate on what has happened. This guy who's on with him now, I can't remember his name. Um, he, he's forgetful, to be honest. Fell straight into that trap multiple times over. But regardless, he, he all he's done is, is 
done exactly what that guy did when uh, our android went in dressed like that. Crumbled at the knees at feminine charms. It's why females make such good confidence men or women, con woman, and why they're very good at being a spy. Because men are always led by one thing. So, they've decrypted this at uh, Phoenix shiplock, Shipyards. The ships have already gone because they've already been built, so they've already launched. And now we've got Ferris Corp saying that they're assured that they're going to win the war within six months. But the colonies are gaining too much ground, and they could be something that opposes them. So, what that means for Agent Zero, or Six, I mean, how many names does this guy have? It uh, means I have no idea. Um, that was kind of the opposite of the previous episode. The previous episode, even though it was a time loop thing and it's been done an awful lot in sci-fi, I got the complete outcome of it wrong because they decided to try and do something different. This episode felt very predictable, but it only felt predictable not because of our main cast, but because of him trying to worm his way into the f the feminine charms of her and at the same time giving them something back for it with this with this file and the encryption key so there you go um i don't really think we need to say anything more than that for now because that that was the, the majority of the episode what i want to know which which is of a, a bigger grander scale here is what's going to happen with this now with ferris Corp and They've purposely put that little transmission in at the end between six and five for us to show that it's not forgotten and he's either now in danger or it's something that we're still not aware of. Right, there you go. I will be back for episode six next. If you want to watch this in full length, check the link in the description. You can watch uh, the full length episode over on Patreon as normal. And by all means, post comments down below. I've enjoyed this series thoroughly. That one was a little bit predictable, but it was because it was all based on him directing and asking for their help in something that he wanted to do, which is why it's predictable, because the guy's a fucking moron. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I appreciate it. If you would give the video a thumbs up, hit the sub. I will see you for episode six next. Take care, guys. Don't